just let me check if I can see myself. Are we live? I have no idea to test, so just yeah so basically we are live so um, what we are going to do is we are going to create a sculpt a character a human head in blender so blender is basically this one uh, 2.81 just let me check if it is coming yeah cool so this is the blender 2.82 version and we are just going to sculpt a human head inside of blender so let's see if we can do that so this is what we have at the beginning so if you just want to download blender you can just go to blender.org and from here just give it a second from here you can just download the blender 2.82 version this is the latest version as of now uh, i think the blender 2.83 version is there uh, in alpha or beta i'm not sure but anyways going back to blender so this is blender what we are going to do is first of all subdivide this cube a few times uh, maybe two looks good and apply or we can do just control 2 and that would be it we go to the sculpting tab so in blender uh, 2.82 version there are a few uh, new brushes for sculpting which are really really awesome so i think uh, this multiplane scrape is new and there are a few others uh, I think slide relax is also new I'll be sure there is no uh, reason to show you these things in human health head sculpting so we are just just going to skip it so first of all what you want to do is grab so G is for grab so for the grab tool and by pressing F I'm just increasing the size of the brush I increase the size First of all, you are just going to give it a head like shape, right? Something like this. Pull it from here, grab it inside, and just going to. So, this is something like a human head uh, shape that we are trying to give. Now, once this is done, either press X uh, for the draw mode or you can just select draw from here decreasing the size uh, to here and I think the symmetry needs to be on we'll just check if the symmetry is on in the yeah here uh, the symmetry at X is on so whatever we do here will be reflected here and whatever whatever we do here will be reflected here so we are not mirroring the objects we are just going to sculpt it as it is so the first thing that i like to do is eyes so eyes should be somewhere around here we are just going to hold control uh, why is it not working have we yeah good uh, sculpting yeah so first of all what we want to do is uh, now right now the mesh is not there even if we try to uh, press this draw here there is no mesh to work around so what we are going to do is we are going to turn on the dyno topology dynamic topology and so what it basically does is creates a topology of vertexes or vertices as and when we go so we can go with the relative detail method so the relative detail method here uh, means that 
the detailing will be high when we are zoomed in and detailing will be low when we are zoomed out so this is not what i like to do because i don't want to you know uh, uh, you know just commit myself to some uh, zoom level i just like to move things around and zoom in and zoom out as and when i want so i don't like the um, relative detail method so what i can do is i can choose the constant detail method i know the resolution of 3 will not be uh, enough so i'm just going to go for 20 and we will be flooding it detail flood fill so basically what it does is fills the entire mesh with uh, vertices at the level of 20 here right resolution of 20 so right now we, here we can see this blue dot one two three four these are vertices right we don't want that we want to just detail flood it so detail flood fill and as soon as we do it you can see here some weird uh, edges are being made this is just because there are much 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 more vertices here so if we go in the uh, wireframe mode now we can see that there are many 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 vertices so now let's start with the eyeball eye control and i'm just going to dig it inwards draw it inwards this much would suffice um, i think here should be the nose till this much i like to scrape off this part of the chin and we will fill it afterwards i'm just trying to give it some nose like shape the basic shapes right now i know that here we want the chin so i'm just drawing the chin here and something like this yeah for the uh, if i press the same key with uh, same brush with shift then it just smooths out i don't think anyone's life right now so but we will move it anyways yeah cool so i'm just smoothing it out with by holding shift button now i know that this face shape looks weird uh, I'm just grabbing it inwards I'm just simply grabbing it inwards so that it looks good yeah nice don't worry about the uh, other shapes we'll make it look good So now let's move ahead. I want to just smooth out this face uh, mouth part. Okay, good. Looks good now. Now what we are going to do is go in the layout mode and add a sphere. Uh, a UV sphere would suffice. Rotate it in X direction by 90 degrees so that it faces here. Now what we are going to do is go into the uh, modifiers tab and give it a mirror modify in the x direction now we go to in the edit mode by tapping tab and in one we just scale it and grab it so now you can see it is made mirrored and we just grab it outwards something like this and we're just going to scale it downwards grab it here just to know that the um, size of the eyeball is correct the proportions are correct i'm just going to put it somewhere like this okay once it is done again in the object mode and sculpt mode to here again we are going to turn on the dino top at constant detail at 20 we don't need to detail flood it it's already there i think the eyeball needs to be moved outwards we did not check for that grab the grab wipe and i think eyeballs are at this level could look good maybe some 
what we signed that looks good now again sculpting and turn on the demo top let's just smooth out all these details When it looks smooth you can uh, see it better so again I am drawing it and there is some sort of crease here in your skull so we are just drawing that one and smoothing, smoothing it out something like that grab I think these proportions do not look correct so just grabbing it and giving it a good shape this one looks weird so we are just going to smooth it out cool now it looks much better just smooth it out yeah always smooth out everything that you have done so that you can know what is going on exactly so I don't see any life anyone life uh, someone is life along with me but I know I don't know who he or she is so anyways unless we then don't get a comment we are just we are just going to ignore that and continue with our work so now we are going to do is a crease brush use a crease brush I think control C no 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 shift shift c is the um, shortcut for crease brush so basically what crease brush does is it makes a crease so we're just going to make a crease here and at the nose we have some crease going right like this and with the draw brush we're just going to draw the nostrils something like this Cool. It looks good. Uh, what I feel is this should be downwards. There is some indent here. No, 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 not not that prominent. And this needs to be downwards. It's too down. Yeah, it will look good afterwards. I think what you can do is grab it and just put pull everything upwards. Cool. I think we can pull it outwards just something like this the head it's too big I think so there is someone live along with me but I don't get a comment so I have no idea who is live um, okay so again going to the crease brush and making the slit for the mouth so for the mouth always make a slit in a sad face I don't know why but the slit for the mouth is always in the uh, downward curve direction like this now there is no way for us to you know uh, scrape off the lips right now so we're just going to ignore that and wait for a little while I think the nose is too big so we're just going to pull it adjust the shapes yeah it will look better afterwards right now just leave it there again we go to the draw brush there is some slit here uh, some uh, indentation here so we're just going to scrape off some amount of um, not so much but there's this chin is very prominent right so we're just going to do that and smoothen out not so much 
the drawbridge strength is too much for now but anyways yeah so it looks good uh, one thing that we can do is use references side by side but I'm just skipping that part for I don't know why I just don't like to work with uh, reference images so what I'm going to do right now is this is going to increase the resolution from 20 to 40 and detail flood it so as soon as we detail flood it uh, here you can see how many vertices are there so currently we have 42,000 vertices so if we just pan it and just smooth it out we can see how cool it will look right so for now i'm just going to smooth everything out of course we are going to lose some amount of details but we can recover those details later we just needed the basic um, shapes and we blocked the shapes out always always smoothen these um, back sides also otherwise it becomes really difficult to smooth them afterwards at every uh, detail level just smooth everything out cool so now once this is done it's looking good just now so now yeah what we are going to do now is go for the eye i think the uh, eyeballs are too big just can simply decrease the size cool i think this much would suffice so yeah always remember there has to be a one eye distance between the two eyes so the two eyes have a distance of one eye between them weird calculation someone i i read it somewhere or i saw in on in some video i'm not sure about where i saw that again coming back to sculpting with dino top on cool so now what we are going to do is we are just going to first draw the um, eye lid so the easiest way is just this way there has to be an yeah this one so there is this indent here and we continue with that indent I'm just trying to give it the shape of the eye so I think we can use the crease brush to you know make some crease here and make some crease here and we are going to use this clay strip brush this is one of my favorites something like this it's already looking much better than before we're just going to clean out these uh, edges yeah now it looks really great I think we need some flesh here cool it's looking much better yeah it's looking much better now let's continue with the nose so with the crease brush I'm just uh, giving the shapes to the nostrils and round here and then here right and with draw brush what we can do is draw the actual holes of the nostrils now right now this will be very undetailed one but afterwards it will become very detailed also this needs to be pulled downwards this should be a circle now uh, this should be a curve exact curve right uh, yeah so 
also and we'll see drawing the nostrils we will give details when we increase the detail levels right right for now it's okay now coming to the lips part mm, control c for shift c for the crease brush just give it a crease make it very prominent now what we can do here is we can just change the matte cap so that it looks good the red one looks good but i prefer the uh, the actual one also but this one is also good uh, it has got some blue light from here and red light from here so uh, this also looks good now here i can see that the nose is looking really very weird we're just going to adjust it using the uh, grab brush something like this now this is looking really really good i think this head part is uh, we will be covering that head part also afterwards yeah okay so back to the lips now what we are going to do is uh, with control shift uh, control c uh, shift c we are we just selected the crease brush now inverting the crease brush by holding control which is going to give give it a shape of lips something like this i i think uh, we will need i'm just i'm just undoing what we did to the lips i think the lips should be till here right so something like this and then here yeah now i think you can see the shape of the lips here and yeah this one right with slight indent here and something like this good this is how it should be but of course we need to give it some shape uh, first of all we need to pull the lips backward right pull bring it upwards it's also here somewhere like this and this one should be backward yeah it's looking much better i think the lips should be not so broad cool it's looking much better i think we can just uh, play with the proportions of the head so that it looks good okay this is looking much better now what we're going to do is again use the clay strip brush fill out this one this part and just smooth it out now there is this here we have an indent so we're just going to remove some flesh from here and uh, here we have some flesh right here so we're just going to here we do have some flesh here just smooth it out okay now these details will be removed afterwards here we also we have the same indent and here also we have some flesh to be removed it's looking much better what i feel is this jaw needs to be brought backwards yeah good 
it's looking much better now what we are going to do is increase the resolution to 60 always just move from 20 to 40 to 60 don't go just from 20 to directly 80 because I think 80 is the last where I will be sculpting it and as soon as I did 80 I am going to give it a detail third fill it takes some some time to fill it and as soon as it's done the first thing that we need to do is smooth out everything now you can see the details are very high we will of course lose some details but don't worry about that we are just going to uh, redo all the details again because yeah, that is how it works be very sure to remove the bad details of the back side also yeah it's already it's looking much better so I think if we go to the object mode like so and we give it a shade smooth it will look much much smoother than it is looking right now but here you can see there are some things that we need to work on so again going to the sculpt node we are just going to use the clay strips the clay strips for the eyebrows and just smooth it out so we have done the um, what we call it as the shade smooth one so now when you want to give a character to I mean some expressions or the character to the character uh, it is all about the eyebrows right if the eyebrows are like this he'll be a sad person if the eyebrows are downwards and tilted like this he'll be a um, angry person and to make it neutral just keep it at the middle right and just smooth out now this looks very bad uh, eyelids are never like this so what we are going to do is just remove the flesh from here I think the shade smooth is not it's the making it look very bad this is how it's actually is and this is what we want to work with so I'm just removing the uh, s the flesh at the eyelids and I'm just making sure that this prominent eyelid is there present I don't want to remove that and I'm just going to smooth we can go ahead and remove much more flesh with the X tool yes this is what we want Pile Thakre, hey, hey, Pile. Thank you for watching. Yeah, it's looking much better now. The same thing that we want to do with the upper eyelid also. X. Just smooth it out.
सूरज गोरे हाय दादा सो हे कस दिस संगशील रे or any suggestions that you have now let's work at the lips it's good but you have to work on the anatomy yes of course i have to work on the anatomy there are so many things i'm just trying out uh, what i've learned till now of course i'm not a pro guy looks weird i'm just trying to smooth it out of course the eyes uh, the, the the worst part and the most difficult part i always feel is the eyes they are always the worst and the most difficult part to get it right so yeah i think this much would do i'm not sure i don't know even if i want to try something else with this just give it some flesh at the cheeks I think this much would do for now. Just look at my face for a moment because I am trying something else. Just a second. And 
good so it looks good i think what we can do is just um color it out and let's see how it looks i do understand there are some um, problems with smoothing right here but for now i'm not going to you know focus on such details um so control all and unwrap and a cylinder projection i i, I need a sphere projection right now uh, in the materials tab i'm going to give it a white color let's see it in the rendered mode yeah because i need to change the lamp make it a sun lamp with direction going this words and strength to be around five color to be around light yellow so there are three people watching live right now thank you so much guys and waiting in the edit mode now what we want to do is select these faces this face says only uh, and this one right now i want to give it a black color assign new material assign and black color something like this cool now going to the object mode and choosing a skin color for this one looks good and let's save it first um, where should i save it on the desktop human head o1 save and now let's just try if we can give it some heads I have no idea if hairs would look great on this and I have no idea if hairs would even be supported so I'm giving it a hair texture so now you can see hairs are everywhere I'm going to the weight paint mode and I want the hairs to be okay first of all I'll just switch off the hair particle system and I'm drawing the hairs. I think there is some option of you know uh, mirroring it out. Okay, let's and uh, is there an option for mirror? Yeah, here. So I want the hairs to be here. Yeah, of course I've left out the ears because for what I've tried till now, I'm not being able to, you know, sculpt the ears properly. So when I can do the ears properly, I'll sculpt the ears also in some other video. For now, just going to focus on this one. Making this thing look right is what we are going to focus on i have no idea what the heck i'm even trying to do but yeah cool whatever something like this basically there will be ears right here but i'm just skipping the ears for now and till here let's see if this works so now in the particle system i think it is the field weights no not the field weight in advance i think this is the vertex group one and the density to be group and now all the hairs are here cool this is exactly what we wanted now what we are going to do is in the viewport display we are going to keep it as it is 
but in the let me just turn on the hair dynamics and I think in the children's part we are going to go for the interpolated one and display amount is 10 render amount is 100 so that it looks good now is the point to crop now give shape to the head there are some things with hair particle system which I have not yet you know fully understood so I think yeah this baseline works good because it then gives curves and increasing the steps to 7 I think gives the best uh, curvature <laughs> to these things now let's go to the particle edit mode So now what we want to do is, first of all, um, cut the hairs. And is there an option for you know mirror at the x-axis? No, there is not. So we are just going to cut the hairs just like this. And the same here also approximately same of course now this is going to be a very hairy guy Okay, let's just cut it right out here. Not that. The computer is just giving up. I just hope that Blender does not crash everything around does not crash because it's too heavy right now all the fans are just you know cool so i think this will get no 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 back i think this will get it done just last thing that we need to do is comb the hair now as you can see it's really 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 very slow right now oh we need to cut it here also There are three people live. I have no idea who, but thank you guys for being live. Thank you for watching this video. It's not the best video you can ever watch, but thanks. We are in the end game. This is the last part that I want to do. And now we are just going to comb it and give it some shape. Uh, 
Okay, also. Me, Shubham Yavli is there. And one more person is there. I don't know who. But thank you guys for being live. Thanks Shubham for being live. Now watching the live stream of course. So of course, as you can see, uh, I'm not the best at combing heads, especially in Blender, and especially at this, you know, computer specs. You know, the computer is just giving up. But anyways, I literally have no idea what I'm doing with these hairs, but okay. Anyways. And we will just give it some. Puff, which one is the puff one? Mood comb, no, there is no puff mood. Yeah, this is the puff, just somewhere so that hairs are a little bit out of the head, otherwise, they will so stick to the head so much that you won't be able to see the hairs. So now in the object mode this is how it looks it looks bad but i don't know what to do with it <laughs> now we, what we are going to do is uh, color the head head i have no idea how to color it but anyways let's just go into the cycles mode this is how it will look like You're welcome. This is how it will look. It will look like okay, -ish, but not too bad. But anyways, what I feel is, uh, at no heads, we are much better. So let's just um, get the camera right. till here right and we are just going to render it out at 300 I think and, oh, we don't even need that right even if we do it in EV it would be good and just render render image this is how it looks like it's okay not too bad not too good but a good start so let's just save it and we're just going to give it one yeah so let's open that up so this is what we did and this is how it looks like it's good it's not too bad it's not too good but a good start so what you can see here is basically if we take um a very 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 long time to you know sculpt the head and do all the detailing and as um, you know suggested by Suraj Dada that I need to work on the anatomy so if I just learn some anatomy and um, work really really hard and apply all those anatomy uh, you know things and all the tips and tricks here and work really 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 hard for let's say four to five hours for just the head i can get it right i think so yeah so this is it if you have any questions to ask or anything to talk about i'm up for the next five minutes i think five minutes or so we can have a talk we can chat about some things and that would be it
वाइल्ड ठाकरी यस गुड स्टार्ट थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच गुड स्टार्ट आई नो इट्स नॉट परफेक्ट बट या प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट सो आई एम हेयर टू प्रैक्टिस लॉट सो दैट आई गेट आई बिकम गुड एट दो दीज थिंग्स If I have any questions or anything to talk about for the next five minutes, I'm up. Shubham, Payal, and one more person. I hope it's Suraj, Tara. But yeah, for the next five minutes, I'm up. If you have any questions, you can just ask. Or anything to talk about. so i guess there is nothing to talk about and everything is been done and seen so ending this stream right here i don't think i'll be i have no idea i'll just keep the stream live on the channel for one day or so if this stream if this video gets some views then i'll keep it there otherwise i'll just um, remove the uh, video from the channel this is where i'm at right now so next time can you make a character with suggestion from live chat yeah of course sure um but for that i would you know a a complete character is for now a distant dream for me like a cartoon character shubham yeah sure i can try i'm not very sure if i can get it right uh i do have the skills but i don't have the right amount of practice to make everything look you know almost perfect nothing is perfect but making it look almost perfect is also a bit of difficulty for me right now but yeah in the next live stream i can try a cartoon character you can just suggest me a good cartoon character and i'll just try to make or you know sculpt that Sculpt the character in Blender. Life. Anything else that you have in mind? Shubham, Pail, and one more person. If you have anything else in mind, just share. I am waiting for your comments. Anything else to talk about? Yeah, so great. Thanks, Shubham. So yeah, one more suggestion I need from you guys. Uh, basically, I um, I have a a few skills which I would like to share on this channel, but I don't know uh, if I should be you know posting all the skills and all the tutorials on just one channel. So basically, I have na. uh which na keep going ahead brother yeah sure shubham thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much so basically i have um in my mind i have tutorials for blender that is the 3d animation software which i just worked on uh, then i have in mind uh, tutorials for you know website development and photoshop and illustrator and i don't know there are a few uh, skills and tools that i would like to teach on this youtube channel so but i'm not sure if if i should be posting all of them on just one channel so just you know should i go niche or should i just keep posting everything that i have in my mind on this channel of course this channel uh, agarka media academy is just for you know academy purposes Uh, only for teaching i'll not be sharing my views and stuff like that on here um my 
thoughts and my thinking will be shared on the other channel Samyak Agarkar and some Hindi videos will be coming up on Samyak Agarkar Hindi YouTube channel uh, then I have one more channel Agarkar Media the plain Agarkar Media so only the best things that I create will be posted there so if it is a website or a, a cool animation that I make those things will be posted there on Agarka Media. So basically, I want the Agarka Media YouTube channel to be the where uh, to be the one where I post the best work of um, all my skills. And this channel is all about tutorials. You know, maybe I'll be doing live streams just like this so that um, people who are interested can learn and others can just watch for fun. I don't know. So anything else that you want to talk about? Can you post a video on Photoshop? Yeah, sure. Why not? The only uh, problem is I have Photoshop cracked uh, on my desktop, on my laptop. So I don't use the original Photoshop. So I don't know how it works. Uh, I'm, I, I don't think I'll be getting a copyright issue because I'm using a pirated Photoshop but yeah let's see i'll post a few videos on uh, using photoshop but these the, those uh, videos won't be like the live streams that i'm doing right now uh, the tutorials that i want to post on this youtube channel will be very uh, you know systematic so don't worry about that i'll be sharing the photoshop tutorials soon on this youtube channel what else So right now we are at 57 minutes and 39, 40 seconds. I'll be up here till we complete the first one hour. So that is basically two or so minutes. If you have anything to talk about in those two minutes, please do share in the comment section. So just because you don't have any things to talk about, I'll for the next one and a half minute I'll just talk about what I feel and we'll end the stream there. So basically, uh, the reason I'm doing this live session here is that I I want to just uh, remove the fear of coming in front of camera. So that is one of the biggest issues that I've faced for uh, a long period of time that I'm afraid to talk in front of camera. So this is where I'm sharing the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going live on the uh, YouTube channel and um, only telling those who can support me. So those includes only my best friends who can support me even when I'm live and you know, just ruining the live streams. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me on this live stream. So we are just around to end this live stream for the last 30 seconds. Uh, I just want to say that thank you so much. If you haven't yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions, you're free. Feel free to you know give me a message, call me anytime when you want. Stay in touch forever and Thank you so much for being such a nice uh, audience for this live stream. And thank you so much for being such nice friends to me and supporting me in even when I'm not doing really, really good. Good. So thank you so much. And so that's it. We have completed the one, ma one hour mark. And I'm just ending the stream right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. Please do share this YouTube channel and the other YouTube channels that I have with your friends and family so that they can also learn. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video. Till then keep smiling and keep learning.